So I'm going to take a little break from the books. And I have read this, um, whatchamacallit, um, news article about Bridezilla's, right? And uh, I have a few different situations that I had dealt with, which could be in that category, I guess. So one would be when I was in San Antonio. And I think, I, I'm pretty certain I already talked about this one. Where Felicia, who, from San Antonio, Texas, back in 2003, I think, or 2002, whatever year. No, I think it was 2003. I'm pretty certain it was 2003. So, those who are into basketball, or any sports, specifically hometown teams, she knew it was basketball season. Anybody heard of the San Antonio Spurs? <laughs> I think that year they were in, like, championships. I think it was 2003. I'm pretty certain it was 2003. Because Lydia was just starting to crawl. So. And getting ready to walk. So. About 2003. Whatever, basketball. Or no, walk. So I was going from crawling to walking. So, about 2003. <laughs> I had a conversation where I had to join a stay-at-home mom's group. And one of the females, Felicia, who was marrying a techie-techie guy, had uh, wanted to have her wedding. And okay, fine, yeah, whatever. I made the three-tier wedding cake from scratch. All that stuff, you know, each each Wilson pan or Wilton pan. I you know, got all those. Two layers of each. I, I I know that I've met a few people who make pastries and cakes, so they know like <laughs> I probably overdid it on the numbers, but yeah. So she got mad at me, meaning Felicia or Felicia, because I was upset that nobody ate the wedding cake. And then mainly that she threw it away. And she threw this whole fit and she was like, I'm never going to talk to you again because you're mad at me for nobody eating the wedding cake that you made. And I'm not going to talk to you again. This, these are Felicia's words. I'm not going to talk to you again because you're mad that didn't donate the, the cake to anybody. It's like, yeah, because it was a lot of food that went wasted. And, like, law enforcement guys, police officers, you know, the different levels, uh, fire department. It was at a fireman's house. Or firehouse, ball house off of uh, one I-10. Over by Medical and Callahan. Well, she also was upset at the fact that um, it was during either the championships or the playoffs. Either way, it was a San Antonio Spurs game. I'm pretty certain they put out, like, the the schedule ahead of time, and it was a last-minute wedding that she did. She didn't even have the, like, wedding booked years in advance. She had it booked, like, a few months before, and it's like, so you, you she got mad because I was like, Felicia, so you, you at the wedding, mind you, or at the wedding reception, because she was complaining that a whole bunch of people didn't go to her wedding reception the night of the San Antonio Spurs game in San Antonio. And she was just like, well, what do you mean that people would want to go to a San Antonio Spurs game during the playoffs or the championship? Either, either one. And I was like, again, like... You, you, could, you couldn't see that ahead of time? You're going to be like, hey, you know, they're going to play on this day. So how about, like, another day? 
instead. No, in, in Texas, in San Antonio, in San Antonio, you're like, no, 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 no. People will be more interested in your wedding than the San Antonio Spurs game. I don't know. I mean, I don't think you have to be from the state of Texas or a San Antonio Spurs fan to understand that if the home team is in the playoffs and or the championships, like they're going to be more interested in the basketball like they, they, than your wedding. And she got upset by that. She was, so, I'm not going to talk to you because of that. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> not really that upset. What do you mean you're not upset? I am not upset. I literally said I am not upset. And, and then you asked me, what do I mean by I'm not upset? If you're going to be mad at me because I pointed out the truth that I, you wasted an entire wedding cake as well as like, You were upset people didn't show up to your wedding reception the night of a championship. I'm going to find that out. I got to. I got to. I'm going to just really quickly check that out because, you know, if if I'm accurate, I think it I think it was either the championships or the playoffs, but it was still a home game for San Antonio. It was still it was it was still a home 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 game. So like in San Antonio. So I'm just, you know, just. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna Google that. Spurs <laughs> Oh, they were in the championships. It was a championship game. She was upset. It was literally a championship game. Apparently, yeah, yeah, she was in. He, they, they, the San Antonio Spurs were in the NBA Finals when she had her wedding reception. And it was being played at the, the, the Spurs place in San Antonio. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I think that that's, that's pretty, pretty simple. To understand why nobody, like, I mean, there were people at her wedding reception, but then she was mad because I had said out loud, well, you know, maybe if there's a TV, you know, and then a whole bunch of males were like, Psh, where is a TV? <laughs> it was the, play did she, they were in the NBA playoffs? Felicia? Really? <laughs> they were in the NBA playoffs? It wasn't even like the, the NBA playoffs. <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't think it takes a head injury to figure that out. But apparently it did for her. So another another not that I've been to that many weddings, to be honest. I've been to a few, but not that many. Um so then there was like my biological sister's wedding. Which Again, I know I've done a video beforehand of this. So her husband didn't even know I existed. Like he had no idea that my biological sister had a biological sister, not an adopted sister, not a foster sister, not that that should matter. But like he had no idea at all that I existed. Like, whatsoever. He was just, he, like, literally the day we met was the first time he found out that she had a sister that wasn't in a sorority with her. And it was just one of those, he had no idea. So I kind of feel bad, not just for him, but his entire family, because they had no idea. And then, you know, okay, I get it. I look like I do. Okay, fine. I know I had the head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, so I don't necessarily have a filter the way, like, you know, other people do. And I get, I get it. Texas has, like, their own stuff. I get it. I never tried to, like, change Texas. You know, I, I very much covered up my tattoos. Irony of why I got my tattoos. But seriously, nonetheless, it was just one of those, you know, 
I'm just like doing the best I can to not cause any problems. And despite not being able to cover my hair, like just, it was the way I, I did what I could to not be offensive. But apparently I was so much of an embarrassment to my biological parents and biological sister that like my biological sister's husband and his family had no idea that I existed at all whatsoever. And then at the wedding, my biological sister got mad. So first off, she asked if my son and my daughter could be the ring bearer and the flower girl. Okay. Told me what the wedding colors were going to be. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to go out and get a new gown or a new dress. I already had a bunch. So, okay, fine. I wore one and she was mad that I wore one that was the wedding color party because she was upset that somebody at the wedding who might think that I was a part of the bridal family. What? What? I'm only your biological sister? What? And so she was absolutely appalled. She threw the biggest temper tantrum, apparently bridezilla thing type thing is a thing. So you, you can... You, her her husband had no idea that I existed. <laughs> His family had no idea that I existed. I don't even know if his family knew, like, until the day of the wedding that I existed. Like, at all. I, I have no idea if his family, Zach's family, had any idea that Patricia had a biological sister. Me. Ta-da. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I exist, apparently, according to her and my biological parents. I wasn't even allowed to be in the wedding photos. Like, I was not allowed. They specifically told the wedding photographer, do not take any pictures if I am in the vicinity. Because they did not want any aspect of me being there. They were absolutely appalled at the fact that I brought my children from Carrollton, Texas to Austin, Texas for their wedding, meaning Patricia and Zach's, or Zach and Patricia, however that goes. But nonetheless, they were so appalled that I actually wore a gown to be respectful of the wedding. How dare I wear colors that were the colors of the, the wedding. And, and because, oh, I was, I'm was i only your biological sister. My bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You know, and then I even wore a floor length one. So that way, like, my leg tattoos didn't show. Because I didn't want to, like, I had a couple other ones that were of the bridal thing color, but that is essentially wouldn't have mattered, any one of the dresses. Because I showed her the dresses, and she was like, oh, they're all part of the bridal colors. And so they all, like, went to the floor, so that way I was respectful of, like, the people in Texas to, like, irony of my tattoos to help me and stuff. But yes, like, I went to that level, and she was... Temper tantrum, temper, 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 temper. Oh, excuse me. Didn't realize, you know. I even wore the shawl to go over my shoulders because of the spaghetti straps. So that way, like, my back tattoos didn't show. Yes, I know the irony of having tattoos on my, in my back. But nonetheless, still, it was just, how dare you look like you're a part of the wedding party? Who do you think you are? Was literally what I was told. Um, we're still biologically related, right? Yes. Your brides are doing the bridal party? <laughs> yes. My children are the ring bearer and the flower girl. Yes! Your 
My children's aunt? Yes. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what, what would make me think that? I don't know. I think there's like a whole bunch of signs right there that are like, hey. So then, you know, I got kicked out of being able to help her get ready. She didn't want me to help her do her makeup. Okay, fine. Fine. All right, fine. Whatever. So I go down the stairs, and as I go down the stairs, there's, you know, Zach with one of the groomsmen. I'm like, hey. <laughs> and she's just, both of them look up, and they're like, what you, why are you coming down? <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> just like, and I mean to have good luck with that, because, ugh. And so, yeah, like, I, I've had a few, I've had a few situations that I've dealt with. And then... So then there was this other one, okay? So I had actually done a polyamory wedding, a spiritual one for a, a, a truffle. Uh, that was in San Antonio. I had done that. And, and they had a very nice wedding and everything like that. It was, it was really sweet. And did the whole thing. And, but yeah, I did that. I set up all the, I did, I created the ritual myself. I did like everything that, um, my now ex-boyfriend Cactus Jack, a.k.a. Jeffrey Kirkendall Jr., he had taken some of the pictures and then I know that they had their own photographer there, but yeah, I, that was my, the sword that's in that picture. That's my sword. I set up all the candles and all that sort of stuff. Did the whole, yeah, I did that. And I created the whole ceremony, went through it with them. They liked it and all that stuff. So, very nice truffle, couple, triple, chocolate. They were all nice. Had a nice time. Nice area outside, all that stuff. And so, yeah, yeah, I did that. I had my little suit on and stuff like that. But, so then, the only other experience I have is my now ex-boyfriend, Patrick Kennedy, had inv had told me that there was going to be this, like, thing. And it was all over the internet, meaning Fat Life in that regard, of Jason going to propose to Renee. It was on, like, multiple different discussion areas. And I was like, okay, so go to the thing. I was like, okay, so she actually knows she's going to be proposed to at this particular event. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. So then, uh, he brings out a ring, you know, does the whole proposal thing. And I was like, well, that's, that's... And I don't mean in the Anna way. I mean, like, it's genuinely nice. That's cool. Well, then afterwards you know a day goes by or something like that whatever and you know there were several people that were there all that sort of stuff everybody was texting during the whole thing i was like okay whatever and so then i go and put it on fat life like what happened i got berated because i wrote about the engagement They were genuinely upset with me because I wrote about their engagement. Renee and Jason's. Or Matrix Renee and Jason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got in trouble. Because I and so I, I tried to like do what I could to make it up and I like made a picture that, or found a picture and then made like little thing and like did the little right and they it, it wasn't good enough they were mad at me because I wrote about what everybody already knew happened I was like well <laughs> okay that's different Well, I guess I'm just not going to go to any weddings unless it's my own. <laughs> and that hasn't happened, obviously. So, you know, fine. And I mean that in the female way. Fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> just, 
correctly like I actually tried to understand and Renee would you no 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 it's like okay so let me understand no, no 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 let me understand this Jason and you go and tell a whole bunch of people that it's an engagement party and she was like yes okay so everybody was told that it was an engagement party yes had people who were taking pictures at the engagement party who were posting that. Yes. I did not post any pictures. No. But other people were. Yes. They were writing about it on their social medias. Okay. So I, 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 I did one little, one little thing on my life. And it was known it was an engagement party. Yes! That's why I'm mad at you. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand that. I don't know what you're mad at me for. Because you wrote about the engagement party that everybody knew was an engagement party. Did we have to sign a non-disclosure agreement? No. Were there other people who knew that it was an engagement party? Yes. There were people who couldn't go to the engagement party and... Who do you think you are writing about the engagement party that a whole bunch of people were invited to <laughs> that couldn't go? Me? <laughs> um, me? <laughs> Tada! <laughs> Lady Dory Bell, how dare you? How dare I what? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> I don't I have no idea what I did wrong. You made me so mad, is what Renee said. You made me so mad that you wrote about the engagement party that a whole bunch of people knew about, and a whole bunch of people were there, and then there were a whole bunch of people that couldn't go to the engagement party that was known about, and you wrote about it. It was in a public place, right? Yes! <laughs> what? Why do I, why don't I, am I, am I missing something? Yes, you are missing that I am mad at you. Okay. Well, you're mad at me then. For writing about what people knew about? Yes. So people knew about it? Yes. Other than the people that were there, and I didn't know that beforehand? Yes! Okay. <laughs> if you're mad at me for that, okay. What do you expect? I expect you to apologize. I did already. Well, you didn't mean it. No, I don't say things I don't mean. But I'm not going to, like, growl. So, you know. Well, you should. <laughs> I'm not one of your clients. So don't think that's going to happen. And she, who do you think? I don't think I know who I am. So if you think that I'm going to lower myself to you, I don't know who you think you're talking to. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Well, you should be apologize. I, I apologize. I'm not going to repeatedly apologize to you when you wouldn't accept it the first, second, or third time. That's it. I attempted to make up for it. You don't want to accept it. Get over yourself. You're not that important to me, especially with what was going on at that time. 
And it was, well, why do you, again, kind of like several other people, Lady Dory Bell, why do you care about your son and daughter more than you care about the lifestyle? I think you answered your own question in your question. So if you don't like that, I, I, I don't, well, you're not allowed to go to Club Femme events anymore. Okay. Well, I've got a few things that I've been dealing with anyway, so, all right. I'm going to tell everybody that you're not allowed to go to Club Femme events. All right, Renee. If that's what you prefer, that's what you prefer. I actually enjoy going to Club Femme events, but not for you. But I'm dealing with a few things right now, so, you know, um, I'm going to go deal with them. Are you saying that what you're dealing with is more important than Club Femme? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And, and Renee could not understand that my children... More important, and no offense to Club Femme, no offense at all, but like seriously, you know, my children or the lifestyle, well, my children are going to win a hundred times over. Renee and Jason could not understand that at all, and it was like, I don't care. If you can't understand that because you don't have children, okay. But don't go and attempt to force your stuff on me like you've been attempting to. You have tried to get me to go as a professional dominatrix. I told you no. You have tried to get me to go with you to different things and play with your clients and then tell me that you're going to give me a cut in cash so that way it's all under the table no and it's no offense to your clients it's an offense to you and she did not like that at all and i was like no no no. i am not for you to decide who i do and don't and if you don't like that i don't care you are gonna do whatever you're gonna do but i'm gonna still be me and the fact that you don't like the fact that I don't want to be a professional dominatrix because the only way I could be a professional dominatrix and feel comfortable is if I was in a militaristic setting where I didn't actually have to do the stuff you do. That's not technically a dominatrix thing. By technicality. But that is the only way. That is the only way I would feel comfortable doing that. And most likely I wouldn't be allowed to do it anyway. And she, she asked me, well, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I know my temper. <laughs> and what will end up happening is we're going to send her in. And then I walk in and, hey, 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 hey. Stop. <laughs> you, you got the answers. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I got a few more questions of my own. And so don't you tell me when to stop. I'm getting the answers I want to. <laughs> That's not how that works. I would guesstimate. So, you know. <laughs> I'd be great for that, though, if it wasn't for my temper. <laughs> Because, yeah, but it would be fun. It w I would have so much. That would be the way I could be like a full job. <laughs> Give me the answer now. <laughs> and I would, I would, I'd have fun. <laughs> I'd have so, I would see why I shouldn't have that as a job. I'd have way too much fun. I would have. I'd have so much fun. <laughs> 
I am a sadist. I don't deny that. I would, I'd have fun. I'd have so much fun. I would, <laughs> get under the water. Give me the answer now. You want to answer? No? Okay. <laughs> Not that that's how they do that. I don't know how they do it, you know, or if it's like, you know, give me the answer and I'll make it stop. You going to answer me? No, okay. <laughs> I'd have so much fun. <laughs> I would. And, but then, you know, the guys I would have to tell you to be like, hey, 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 hey. We got the answers we needed. I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll stop. <laughs> Just from work. Whoops. <laughs> I slipped, that's what it was. <laughs> if I got to, you know, oh, you want, you want to know, yeah, I really want the answers, like, I really prefer to have the answers, right, you know what, I'm tired of waiting for you to give me the answer, I said give me the answer, <laughs> wrong, <laughs> don't make me, I, what, <laughs> I, I was only using my hand. Don't make me use my elbow. Because that's going to hurt more. I said I want world peace. You got that? <laughs> I would have so much fun. I, I would. I would. It's better to not go that route. I actually told, uh, I told my now ex-boyfriend, one day I, I left the room that I was kept in. I was like, I have the best idea for me. And he just was like, why are you out of your room? And I'm like, I have the best idea. And he was like, why are you out of your room? I want to tell you my idea. And he was just like, okay, what? And then go back to the room. I have an idea. I could be a professional dominatrix if I could do interrogations. And he just kind of, what? He's like, yeah. Because, like, you've seen some of my tools. And he's like, yes, yes, I have. But, I mean, could you imagine how much fun I would have? I mean, like, seriously? And then, like, like you know, CIA guys could be like, do you want this? <laughs> to do your interrogate, you better tell the truth. Because you don't want this to come at you, do you? <laughs> like, just, you show up and you be like, she, she'll come in and <laughs> don't, don't let her smile fool you. Don't let that, because she'll, she will, mm, yeah. And he was just, um, you would do what? Oh, I have so much fun. I mean, seriously. And then I, <laughs> and he was just. Um, you know, uh, uh, ironically, that year, I think, was when the relationship ended. Ironically. Hmm. I'd have so much fun doing that, bro. I would. <laughs> I would. I would. I would have so much, that's like the, I would have so much fun, I would just, I, I mean, you know, you point me at the direction of the terrorists, you let me know, I will handle, you know, let me know, CIA guys, I got this. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> I have fun. I would have so much fun. But yeah, I told, I told Beatrice Renee that, and, and I was like, no, 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 you're not gonna, you're not gonna get, because she tried to get me to go with her and a bunch of, um, the other dominant females that were at that particular event, um, and I was dating Patrick, my now ex-boyfriend at the time, and he was like, we should go with them to the strip club, and I was like, no, I got, 
my, my, my son, like, I gotta take care of him, and, and no, like, <laughs> if you want to go, go, like, I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, it's no offense to the other guys, but I'm not going to be a part of that. And so they were going to go to a strip club and do all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, no. Oh, but I'll get... And Renee, several times before this, several times after that, she was like, well, you know, you could get like $500 cash and then, you know, whatever tips and you get a cut of that. I was like, no. Uh, <laughs> I get, if I do the work, I get it all. I don't, I don't, I don't share. Like, no, that's, well, and she tries it. Well, that's it, but no, 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 no. And, um, what do you mean by cash? Yeah, cash under the table. Oh, uh, no, I'm not about to be audited. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Not about to be audited at all. I'm not willing to. And she kept going and going and several times over. And yes, I am the one who sent the fax paperwork in for that in, uh, Vancouver, Washington, IRS guys. That was me. Yup. Because it, several, several reasons, but yeah, like repeatedly, well, I will, between her, meaning Matrix Renee, her husband, I guess, like if they got married, Jason, and then Patrick Kennedy, all three of them attempting to get me to become a professional dominatrix because Patrick was completely obsessed at the fact that he had gotten Ms. Jules into that. And I was like, but she left you. So you like literally pushed her away after you pushed her into that. And I don't want to do that. And you're pushing me away. So... Not interested. I, I and there's no offense towards what that is. There's I, I have no problem with it. Like that's just not for me. Like if I if I'm gonna do it, it's it's gonna be my way. And the way you're wanting, I don't wanna do it. That's not my way. So I'm gonna do it my way. If I did and 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 that's not the way I wanna do it. Cause I get like I can't do the beat you type of thing and then let's just, no 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 there's no aftercare uh, <laughs> I don't do the aftercare I don't do that whole let's talk like in playing yes but that's up to a point and then that's it like is that I'm not gonna be there oh who's no 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 not unless it's a relationship and 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 that's not the same that's not professional at that point And that was one thing that Renee could not understand was that I could only, if involved with someone who's interested in that, it's a relationship. Right, that's it. Like, that's the only way I can do the, oh, you need cuddles. Yeah, other than that, then you know. Nope, otherwise I'm stone cold, heartless. Like, vicious, 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 vicious. <laughs> Did I say vicious? Yeah. So, you know, like, private security companies. <laughs> CIA guys, you know. <laughs> I want to have so much fun. <laughs> Ah, oh, that would be so much fun. I would be, I would, I would. I got some ideas for tools. I, I know some, I've seen those. And so I just say, I, I, I have some ideas. And I would, I would have, I got some ideas. <laughs> I would have some fun. So, hey, you know. <laughs> just throwing that out there. <laughs> I would be in such a good mood. <laughs> I'd have so much fun. And think about all the physical exercise I could get. Not that I really need it, but like, <laughs> it would be so much fun. Just saying. I would have so much fun. 
oh, I'd have so much fun. I would have so much fun. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. think of how few terrorists we would have to worry about anymore. I mean, seriously, be like, you survived. <laughs> you survived her. Yeah. And then they'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I kinda <laughs> I kinda I kinda survived. I just I would have so much fun. Oh, I could I I got some ideas. I got some ideas. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I know you know where I'm at. <laughs> I would have so much fun. <laughs> and I would I would let it be I know I can handle it. I know I could. I know I could. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this.